That didn't take long. Chantrails. At these young trails. End of October, heavy rain. They're still, still plentiful. Now we've got a porcini here. As you can see, it's a it's been a little washed out from the rain we've had um, but it still feels quite firm I'm just going to get my knife and we'll take it out and see how it is well that's an absolutely beautiful porcini really really, really nice um, you can see in the gills here it's not been eaten by maggots quite often when they get to a certain size they they can tend to get, get eaten a lot by maggots. Um, so if you can pick them young, that's the best time. Um, especially after a, a, a frost, come October, a cold night, uh, the early um, mornings um, can be really, really good to get straight out and pick the first of the crop. But no, that's fantastic. And my dog, Olive, has decided to run over the other side of the fence and now she can't find a way out, so great, I'm going to have to go over and get her. Aren't I, Olive? I just came across these just as I was leaving, actually. And look at these fire garrics. Beautiful, but really, really poisonous. Um, and there's a porcini there as well. I'm just going to check that and see how it is. Um, little tip for you guys if you are out mushroom picking um, very experienced uh, a very experienced forager uh, told me to always look out for these fire garricks because if you look out for them and you see them there's a 95% chance that there's going to be a uh, porcini um, in the same area so just a wee tip for you guys So that was a very enjoyable morning of foraging. I uh, got some chanterelles, porcini, winter chanterelles, um, and lots and lots and lots of chanterelles. Uh, I haven't seen that many in quite a long time, and we're, we're at the end of October now. Um, so with all the rain we've had in the west, it, they're starting to get a bit a bit bad. But in that area, it was quite confined and sheltered for the in the trees. So there were still some real, really nice ones, as you can see in the video. If you are going out yourself, especially, well, I'll say if you're a novice to foraging, I used to go out with my, my father, my late father, and he would, he's been showing me since I was knee high. Um, so I've I've got a, a good 10, 12, 14 that I know that I regularly pick. Um, but I always take a, a, a book with me. Um, a little pocket size book, it's about this size. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can you can see uh, what they are. They're quite cheap and you can take them out with you. And if you're a novice and you're not sure, um, you can flick through and see uh, basically what the mushroom is. I know there's apps now you can go on and you can scan on your phone. If you can go out with somebody experienced, I would really recommend that as well. Um, that's what I've done over the years. Um, and yeah, it's a great way to see the Scottish countryside. Um, I, I love it in, in the autumn. Um, it's a great way to get out and walk the dog and just immerse yourself in the forest. So 
Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like this, please like um, and subscribe to the channel. That'll be absolutely fantastic. Um, I have got more content coming at the end of this year, hopefully. And next year, I've got some good ideas. Um, I'm hopefully going to be fishing next week, which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to film last day of the salmon fishing season. Um, so if you're into that, stay tuned. And yeah, thanks very much and see you in the next one.